Welcome to the 10th episode of the Cracking Senses series. For today, we'll work with Sander Chopper by Action Soft, published in 1987. And as usual, we will try to determine the undisc protection scheme used based on the noise made by the uh, disc drive arm movement. And you will see that this one will help us in determining what is used or not used on the disc. So let's boot the disc. And now we launch my copy disc. The one I made in the early 80, 90s. And we'll work with the Locksmith 6.3 fast disc backup. The original is put in the disk drive 2, so we enter 2, press enter, and now listen carefully to the disk drive arm movement, and I do the uh, thing twice, okay? Did you hear two different noises made by the movement of the arm? I think so. Let's try again. Did you hear that starting at track 1E, the movement was faster? There are two reasons here why. The first one is that because the data cannot be read, or also because there is no data on the disk. So how can we ensure that? Because as you can see, we keep on having A written everywhere on all tracks of all sectors. A means there is an issue with the address field of the um, each sector. So let's edit each track with um, copy to plus. This is entry 1 here. I edit drive 2 starting at track 1D or 1C and I end at track 23. Why 23? Because uh, you know that there are um, the last track, normal track number is or index is uh, 22. But sometimes there are protections that rely on the next extra track 23, and we'll check that way if there is an extra track on the disk. Up, we have nibbles, uh, we have 80s uh, in the inverse mode, meaning that they may be used for uh, synchronization if I press A. We see the FF, the usual FF that we have for synchronization that are written in 40 cycles and the rest of the disk of the sectors and the correct nibbles are starting here with 92, 94 which are non-standard uh, nibbles but as you can see there are nibbles that we can read here that look familiar to us. So let's go on the next track. We press A for analyzing and we keep on having correct nibbles. Now let's go on the next track. We still have data. And if you remember, the movement of the drive started to accelerate on the next track. Why? Let's press A and what do we have here? We press A, it reread the disk and we have nothing visible here. That means that there is, oh, where the data here? Nothing that looks familiar to us. When you see zero, uh, this is the usual way of telling us that there is no data on the disk, no data written, meaning that the disk or the track, sorry, is not formatted. So we'll see for the next track. It re the data and that's the same. We have plenty of non-valid nibbles because we have no data written on the disk. Let's see track 21. 
we analyze and we have the same problems no data here no valid nibbles on the track on the next track the last track of a standard disk we have nothing at all again so let's see if we have an extra track it will be surprising because if we have uh, four or four or five tracks not formatted there is no reason why at the end i would add an extra track that's not logical in terms of duplication and we have no extra track here so what can we already say in that there are tracks formatted from the first track to track uh, index 1e and meaning that the other tracks contain no valid data and that will help us in making the crack later on thank you for watching bye